In this training video, we will review the steps to use Power Control System features in the Enphase Installer Toolkit app, 3.34 versions. Be sure that the installers and your system designer have reviewed all applicable Enphase documentation. Specific to PCS, please locate the technical brief called Power Control System Integration in Enphase Energy System. Follow and comply with all local codes and utility requirements in your area. In order to locate the PCS features, launch the Installer Toolkit app. Locate the site that you're working on. After reviewing the site details and equipment used, look for Site Configuration Additional, sometimes referred to as Advanced Features or additional configuration options. Verify that the CTs are installed in the correct location as needed for your system configuration. Grid tied, non-backup sites, differ from grid forming, backup equipped capable systems. In this example, we'll review a grid forming backup capable system, starting with main panel upgrade avoidance as our objective. Under Select Backup Type, we verified that the consumption CTs are in between the IQ system controller and the main panel. Tap Save. Select PCS Based Limiting. Main Panel Upgrade Avoidance. Now refer to your site specific design and select one of the two options. The app has a helpful tool that does a quick calculation based on the 120% rule. You enter the service panel bus rating, then the main breaker rating, and the app suggests the likely calculated current limit. Be sure to verify that this is correct and appropriate for your system needs. Another option is current limit, directly entered by you. You specify the current limit number and the system uses that specification. It's important to know that your system will soon be configured to use these system details, but they are not yet implemented into the functional system. Be sure to fully commission the system for the PCS limits to take effect. This means you need to provision the hardware, test the energy metering CTs, and functionally validate the system. If you want to verify or generate a record of your PCS setup, navigate to Post Commissioning and select Generate Summary Report. Look at the section titled Site Configuration Additional. In this section, you'll see the PCS feature listed along with the designated current limit that it was specified by you. IQ Battery Oversubscription allows more Enphase battery storage at a given site and also allows more batteries per circuit by carefully managing the power output. Similar to the previous steps, after selecting the site, look at the main menu and select Site Configuration Additional, sometimes referred to as Advanced Features or Additional Configuration Options. Select PCS Base Limiting. Now select IQ Battery Oversubscription Check. The app asks you to specify how many batteries are wired to the IQ System Controller 3 battery input port. For larger battery storage sites, you could have additional batteries wired to the DER input port. Anyway, this site has two 5P batteries, and due to a site-specific requirement and the interest of showing a battery current limit reduction, we entered a 30 amp battery storage breaker. You can see that the app, and therefore the system, will limit the total battery current to 24 amps, as this is the maximum continuous current allowed for a 30 amp breaker. Remember, the PCS limit is not in effect until the system is fully commissioned. To review that the settings are correct, you can view the summary report. 
If your site has a requirement for an aggregate power export limit, navigate to the PCS-based limiting options. Tap Aggregate Power Export Limit. Tap Edit. Enter the value in watts as required for the site. Commission the system and you are done. Similar to before, you can generate a summary report if needed. Thanks for watching.